Revenge films. My mother-in-law stepped on my daughter's feelings. She lives just 10 minutes away from us, but she still doesn't accept her granddaughter to this day. My husband has a younger brother, and my brother-in-law also has a child. My brother-in-law's child is a boy, and she only shows affection to him. But they live in a different state, so they only visit my parents-in-law's house once or twice a year. I have a daughter in first grade, and we live this close to them. But my mother-in-law doesn't show any affection to my daughter at all. My father-in-law shows lots of affection towards my daughter, so we visit them. But my mother-in-law is always cold towards my daughter. Grandpa! My daughter likes her grandpa better. Such an ugly child. Just like that, she's very cruel. Of course, my husband and father-in-law can't forgive her behavior. What kind of an attitude is that? Is that how you treat your grandchild? Right! What do you hate about Jenny? Don't butt into other people's feelings. She replies and never shows any affection towards my daughter. My daughter seems to notice her grandmother's attitude too. We live near my parents-in-law's house, but my parents' house is also near, so we visit it a lot. My older sister is living with them too, so she works at a restaurant. That's why she is in the kitchen a lot, thinking of new recipes. I want to make something too! When my daughter was younger, my older sister used to say, It's dangerous, so maybe next time. But now that my daughter is in grade school, Okay, want to try to make something? Yes! She began to teach my daughter how to cook. I love curry! I see. Curry is easy, so I think you can do it. With the help of my big sis, Jasmine made her first curry. Oh, looks delicious! It really does! My mom and dad showered her with compliments. Then after tasting... This is very delicious! It's better than your mom and aunt's cooking! Yay! She said happily. Then... Can I bring it to Granddad too? She asked. By Granddad, she means my father-in-law. There's no problems with my father-in-law, but... The problem is my mother-in-law. She's always very cold towards Jasmine, so... I thought there's only a small chance that she'll eat Jasmine's cooking. I don't want Jasmine to get hurt, so I didn't know what to do at first, but respected my daughter's feelings. Then, we brought the curry to my parents-in-law's house. Wow! Amazing! Jasmine, did you cook this? Yes! He made it together with my aunt! Okay! Well then, let's eat it! He said and ate the curry. This is delicious! You have a talent for cooking. <laughs> my father-in-law ate the curry and was satisfied. But the problem is my mother-in-law. Grandma, eat it too! My daughter said, but my mother-in-law ignored her as expected. Um, my daughter did her best to cook this curry, so... How about just a bite? But she continued to ignore. Then my father-in-law shouted in anger. Your grandchild put her heart into cooking this curry. Why are you ignoring her? Anyone can make curry. There's no need to exaggerate that you made it. She replied in anger and marched inside. I'm sorry about that. Your curry is the best in the world. It's a hundred times better than your grandma's. He said, and my daughter who was about to cry happily nodded. Yes, thank you, Grandpa. I'm thankful that my father-in-law said that, but... I can't forgive my mother-in-law for stepping on my young daughter's feelings. So ever since that incident, we haven't visited them. One day, my mother-in-law invited us to their house. It was their golden wedding anniversary. At first, I hesitated to go because of the incident. But an idea came to mind and I decided to go. But I had a feeling that there'll be a fight, so I decided to ask my parents to babysit Jasmine. My older sister helped. I'll teach you a new recipe today. It'll be a bit difficult, but will you be okay? What are we making? We're making gratin today. I love 
love Grattan. I'm thankful to Jade for creating a fun experience for Jasmine. Then, my husband and I went to my parents-in-law's house. When we arrived... Welcome! I made all these food for today. There are different dishes on the table. I'm sorry. Today is our golden anniversary, but my wife went all out and made all this. I told her not to overdo it. It seems like my mother-in-law wanted us to eat her cooking and say how delicious it is. When everyone arrived at their seats, I used blank as a secret ingredient for this sauce. She said without being asked, my husband and father-in-law listened warily. I was pretending to smile and listen to her explanation. Then she said, Here, have a bite. No thanks, I said, and her eyes opened wide. Huh? Oh, didn't you hear? I said no thanks. Do you have any idea how much time it took me to cook all this? Hmm, not at all, but anyone can cook like this. What did you say? Say it again! She shouted, so I laughed and replied, Oh, have you gone deaf in the span that we haven't met? How rude! I can hear you loud and clear. What a rude wife! I cooked gourmet food for you! But the last time we came here, you did the same rude thing to my daughter, didn't you? Anyone can cook a dish like that! Right, I can make it too. But that curry is my daughter's first ever dish. You didn't eat a single bite and even made fun of her. That's not what a grandmother does, right? Don't compare my gourmet food to that curry. After she said that, a loud bang came from the table. My husband and father-in-law were furious and their faces turned red. Jenny is right. You didn't even eat a single bite of your grandchild's cooking. Why would anyone eat your cooking? Stop being silly. I've been holding back until now, but I've had enough. Get out! He shouted at her. Right, I've had enough already too. You haven't even so much as tasted my daughter's cooking. Golden anniversary? I'm sorry, but I'm cutting off my ties with you today. Wait, what are you saying? My father-in-law brought a bag from the house and said, Hurry up and pack your things and leave! She turned pale and placed her things. Then he kicked her away. I'm sorry for everything she has done to you. Dad, no need to apologize for her. You've always been good to Jasmine. Right. Mom is the one who's at fault. But what are you going to do from now on? I think I have no other choice but to get a divorce. Um, how about you live with us? I think Jasmine will be happy to live with you. Really? Of course. Then, my father-in-law sold their house and decided to live with us. By the way, my mother-in-law went to my brother-in-law's family after divorce. But it seems like they didn't have a good relationship with his wife, so she was rejected. Their house is already sold, so she had nowhere to go home to. It seemed like she was asking door-to-door -door for a place to stay, but... There's no way that people will be kind to someone who can't be kind to anyone. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.